Humans benefit from seeds in so many different ways. Seeds are the very beginning of the full life cycle. Uh, seeds start, that's where crops are growing, that's how animals are fed, that's where uh, biofuels end up coming from. Uh, everything starts with a seed. My name is Tom Greaves. I'm the president of Patura Seeds here at Domain Manitoba. We are select seed growers, processors, retailers, and end use contractors. In Manitoba, we have approximately 500 seed growers on a yearly basis that grow seeds for the seed industry. Technology and innovation continues to evolve in the seed industry. Our seeds need to adapt. Our breeders are working very hard as their environment changes, whether it be new diseases, new insects, our environment continues to change and be able to have seeds that can uh, be modified or adapt to those changing environmental factors uh, really make uh, the seeds viable for uh, our, our environment that we live in today. My name is Kurt McCartney. I'm Associate Professor at the University of Manitoba. I work on winter wheat breeding and genetics. There's wheat grown pretty much in any, every country in the world that has some sort of uh, crop production. It's one of the most adaptable crops there, there really is. So there are researchers working on different aspects of wheat across the globe. So really uh, what we're doing is we're making new combinations of genes. So that usually involves cross-pollinating two different varieties of say wheat. and. Um, in the progeny of, of that cross, we will look for new combinations that are interesting for production in, in, on the prairies. Often the breeding process involves multiple breeders exchanging seed back and forth across the prairies and getting it tested in different environments. And I guess the final people would be people involved in grain quality testing. So ensuring that the grain has high protein content, the proper, in the case of wheat, I guess, strong gluten for making bread and, and those making sure that the varieties have meet their end products that we're trying to develop. Well I was born and raised uh, in small farms on the eastern plains of Nepal and I've seen my family and villagers uh, face severe crop losses due to uh, different um, biotic and biotic stress like different disease and uh, erratic rainfall droughts. So those uh, bitter childhood memories in my, uh, in my life, um, I would say that really inspired me and motivated to pursue uh, a career in plant science. For me, the favorite part would be the fact that my research uh, will be going to benefit farmers and uh, help them improve livelihoods and food security, not just in Canada, but globally, that gives me immense, I would say, sense of joy and satisfaction. So winter wheat has some different advantages to the, for the farmer. Um, it spreads out workload over the course of their, their operations of all the different crops they're growing. Um, it's more productive than spring wheat. The, the winter wheat is competing with uh, weeds that are growing in the, in the fields in the fall time. Um, so it, it changes the sort of the dynamics of say the weed populations in, in the field. So it's, it's um, quite beneficial from that standpoint. Um, it's also good for preventing soil erosion and it's really great for water use efficiency. So it captures all that snow, snow moisture essentially um, that sometimes we don't always capture with spring sown cereals. It's really very beneficial for that and it also provides uh, habitat for migrating waterfowl. There are so many opportunities in the seed sector. Uh, careers that start right from primary agriculture with farmers. Uh, there's agronomists, there's people that work in maintenance, there's technicians, there are salespeople. There's everything from the business side uh, all the way from leaders and entrepreneurs all the way through finance and admin. So, so many opportunities in, in seed and in agriculture as a whole.